Hello there guys, it's great to be starting this back up again. I believe where we last left off, I had just finished coming out of the Imperial Sewers, so... Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention, I just got a new mod added recently, which makes the map all colorful and... relatively awesome, I would have to say. I am very impressed by it. I really like this. Now you'll notice that all the um, quick travel markers have been taken off, that is because, that's just another part of the game, you are required to travel to the major cities outside the Imperial City. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the district market. Let's try to get some stuff aside from the rusty crap that I got from the walkthrough. Let's see here, do to do. Who will help an old beggar? Not me, you crazy bitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. What is it's it? It's not nice to call lady bitches. That's generally considered inappropriate. Well, I know that there's supposed to be a lot more armor and weapons and junk now, so I want to see if there's any... Whoa, what the flip? Um... I think something crazy just went on here with my mods. Oh, it's just... It's really bright. Maybe it's part of the mod or something. Oh, I see what they're doing. It makes it darker on the inside and brighter in certain areas near candlelight. It's in effect. Okay, makes more sense now. Well, let's go ahead and persuade him with that power. I'm Bernardo. Okay, so, barter. Iron, steel, worn dwemer, curious. Let's just sell the stuff I don't need. Um, okay, he's not going to give me jack shit for that, so. Um, let's sell the steel short sword. Um, I don't need, you know, I'm just going to sell the Goblin Mori. Sell the arrows. And the leather armor. Hmm. Uh, alien coin, bear pelt, rubies. Alright, anything else? Oh, let's see, right? I have leather boots. Does he have, does he have iron boots? Awesome, let's get some boots. Sell the rusty ones. Oh, those aren't rusty, those are rough leather boots. Oh, yeah, I still need gauntlets. Does he have. Yes, he also has gauntlets. Awesome. Okay, got a full set of armor now. Thank you. Thank you for your business. You're welcome. Because he's awesome. And boots, and then... Awesome. Goodbye. So now I've got a full set of armor. Let's see if he has any armor that I've never seen before that's the best. new to the game. No, nothing out of the ordinary yet. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Sorry guys, still got a bit of a cold, so I have to apologize for that. <clears throat> Let's see if the best... No, not the best, but... The whatever's yeah, whatever. Herbal grow orc slash and smash. There we go, slash and smash and blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Well, that's new. Elven steel bastard sword. Oh my gosh, I'm tempted to get that, but I'm not a two-hander. I'm gonna be using sword and shield. Elven katana is that one-handed? Oh, if only I had the money. I wish I had the money for that. <clears throat> Let's see, does he have anything worth buying right now? Not particularly. I can only get one. Does that get one or two? You know, I'll just buy an iron helmet. And sell my rusty iron helmet. Cut. Well. And well. maybe maybe I can sell uh, the goblin thing at Rindir's staff, see if that works for me. Don't worry, guys, I'll get started with the action soon enough in the game. I just gotta get myself situated for, um, just gotta prepare myself for the next round here. Not next round, I don't know what I'm saying. You're in Rindir's staffs, and I'm And you're Rindir. glowing really bright. I sell magical stuff. It's stars. like he's Super Imagine Saiyan that. or something. I'm just gonna call you Rindir the Super Saiyan. Alright. Now that that's out of the way. Eh, okay. 81, that's good. That's pretty good. 
I'm not gonna need that anymore. Mythic Dawn rope. Oh, if I ever want one later on, I'll just get it from the Mythic Dawn themselves. Good day. Actually, maybe the fighting. Wait, I don't have any money left, do I? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. It looks like I'm going to walk to Coral, or Choral, or, or yeah, I think it's Coral to get there. So I'm going to go and fast travel to the Chesina Stables and begin my tedious walk over. <clears throat> Actually, before I do that, I should see if I need to repair any of my stuff with that repair hammer. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Do I have... Oh, yeah. I, I should, let's see. Flare. Heal. Star of the West. Voice of the Emperor. I, you know, I'm going to make that eight. I'm going to make the... Oh, whoops. There we go. Then... Five is Cold Touch. Electric Gasp. Or Grasp. Crap, I don't know what I'm saying. Tap Vitality? Sword Fight. Okay. Okay. And then just, you know, the reason I can't see very far off into the distance is because, uh, that's just the weather. Because it's foggy out. It's not because my computer can't render it. This computer can run this game on max settings without any problem because I'm getting 60 FPS right now, even while recording with Fraps, so... Oh, that's right, I get a few frame drops here and there when I'm loading the area for the first time. So let's see what is in store for us. <coughs> As I slowly die of AIDS. Or a cold. It's probably a cold. Let's look at my guy run dramatically. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. Stop. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now butterflies exist in the game. It's a pretty butterfly. I found Waynet in. Uh, no, wa Wanet? Yeah, Wanet in. Okay, I need to go... Let's check my map. I need to go to the right, so I need to go this way. Now, I, I got this far before, and I think there was a bandit up here. No, it was one or two bandits, but... Luckily, majority of the time, there are um, Imperial Guards on the horseback patrolling the area, so if there's an enemy nearby and you can't take them on on your own, just run away until you find an NPC that can help you, because that's what I had to do my first time through. I'm not... Am I still, am I still going the right way? Yeah, I'm still going the right way. I just got to go along the beach here. <laughs> along the beach. Beach, please. Yeah, I know this is a lot of running right now, guys, but that will hopefully change soon enough. And, yep, see, there's the Imperial Guards that I previously spoke of. Three over here, and one over here. And notice how his armor is shinier than usual. The, the standard color armor that you saw before, that's considered okay. rusty now. This is the shiny kind, which apparently has better stats, too, so... Also, women are, can actually be in the Imperial Legion now, it, which is part of the mod... So you'll see female NPCs in the Imperial Legion. Which I thought was kind of cool. Makes it feel a bit more immersive. Who the... Is this a... Who's this? If he's... I might... Wait, is that that one Khajiit? Wait, who's this guy? Oh, yes. Pilgrim of Dibella. Please go. Ah, uh, updated a quest. It's a cool staff. That must be part of the mod. So I kind of wish I had like pretty like sunlight and stuff out so I could show off the prettiness of this game with the mods and junk, but oh well. You get what you get. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm going to have to actually stop sometime soon so that I don't go past the 15 minute mark. How close am I? You know, if I reach a certain landmark, I'll just stop there, and then I'll just start the second video on another one. And I know I haven't been quite as entertaining this time around, so I apologize for that. I'll have to find something to talk about in the next one to keep it more entertaining while I'm just walking and running and walking and more running and... I don't know. Sarah Palin. <clears throat> 
You know, I actually, I am seriously surprised that I have not encountered any enemies yet. Normally, the last time I did this, I'm pretty sure I remember there being a huge mob. Oh, there's a highwayman. You know, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and save and stop right here. And I will see you guys in the next video.